Hello everyone and welcome to this video which is in our Great Engine Games and Crazy Leela series. I'm Grandmaster Matthew Sadler and we're carrying on our look at Leela's Adventures, giving night odds to all comers on Lee Chess. Um, this game is uh, it's against a, um, a slightly lower rated opponent, 1954. But um, I wanted to show it to you because of just one move in particular that really just, oh, oh, what a great move that is. So, um, yeah, just wanted to show that one to you. So, um, d4, knight f6, knight c3, d5. And now Lila plays the move queen d3, which is pretty interesting. Um, by the way, this, um, this game is uh, a slightly different one because this time it's not the uh, Queen's Knight that's missing, it's the King's Knight. So Leela plays some uh, different openings there. Well, we saw that in the match against uh, Navarra. It did, uh, you know, sort of uh, lead to quite different games, having the Knight on B1 missing or the Knight on G1. Um, so Black played um, B6, looking to play Bishop B7, quite a decent solid move there. Um, bishop g5 from uh, from Leela, bishop b7, f3, stopping knight to e4, maybe thinking about playing e4, maybe it's a gambit even, who knows. Um, but black played the move um, h6. Not bad at all. I mean, um, um, useful to have the move e6 in. You know, if the bishop retreats, then you can always play g5 later if necessary. And um, yeah, bishop f6 is, um, you know, it's not so bad. It's an exchange in principle, so it's not uh, going too badly. E takes f6, also possible. G takes f6, not too bad either. I mean, the engines are giving, uh, you know, minus 3.6 for black, so nothing's gone wrong yet. We're seeing Leela's um, uh, painted uh, queen side castling. E5, a little bit loose. I think I would have, um, I would have played e6 rather, but um, e5 played. And Leela answers with e3. So, I mean, you know, on the positive side, you know, Black has, um, um, you know, managed to uh, um, swap off one set of minor pieces. And any exchanges are bound to be quite useful for um, for Black. Um, yeah, the only problem is obviously slightly weak uh, pawn structure. Given some squares away, White's development is quicker. So, yeah, you know, White's got some stuff to play with. Somehow... Leela always manages to do that. Now there's a bit of an incautious move from black, bishop b4, looking to exchange off some more stuff, but it falls for queen b5 check. I mean, actually, the engines don't think it's so bad. They still, you know, say that it's um, minus three, the uh, evaluation. But obviously, you know, giving away a pawn like this is um, a little bit worrying. Um, so hitting uh, this bishop, so bishop d6 played. So white's got a pawn back, but... Well, Black's got some development and, uh, you know, you, you'll be able to get your king out of the way. It, it might not be so bad. Um, this I, I like this move uh, very much. This idea it was quite nasty. D takes E5, F takes C5 and then this move, Queen A4. It's very nice because um, it's got threats like Bishop A6, Bishop B5, hitting the knight on C6. And the queen's also preparing to come round to the king's side. And probably white, black is going to need to um, um, to castle king's side because, you know, something like queen D7 just allows knight F6 check. So castles is played. And yeah, once again, I mean, we noticed it with Mariotti, right? That, uh, you know, one of his uh, amazing things that he managed to do is to um, is to persuade his opponents to start moving their pieces away from the king side and uh, now it feels like uh, Leela Leela Knight odds here crazy Leela has got that same sort of gift because where are the pieces simply you know um so king b1 played by Leela just very slow build up I mean the engines are saying yeah this is minus three still so they think there's plenty of um plenty of good defensive possibilities black played the move queen g5 and white played something, actually, I think white would have played this anyway, h4, just uh, hitting the queen. I think white might have played it next move anyway to stop queen g5. And here black played a little bit strangely. Um, queen g7 is, is quite obvious, really, and, uh, you know, feels like it should be the move. I mean, you can feel a little bit nervous about having the queen, you know, maybe getting hit by something somehow, but it's not easy to organise. And the nice thing is the queen's defending the f6 square, so you start to get moves like knight e7 just to drive this knight away from d5. Um, black played queen d8, and actually it's already equal. You know, it's already 0.00. .00. Why is that? Well, we've got queen check, king h8, and then if we wanted, we could go queen h5 and just uh, repeat. 
But Crazy Leela has got no interest whatsoever in a draw. Going to keep on going for the win. It's actually, you know, quite tricky for uh, for Black here to to defend. Um, you know, I mean, uh, Queen F5 is um, is a pretty big threat here. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, we've also got ideas like Queen H5, and then you know, bringing a rook over to here. I mean, it's really nasty. But um, Black met made a blunder here, but such a nice blunder. Oh, uh, Black played the move Knight E7, which is quite obvious. You know, you try and get rid of this knight, try and bring a knight to defend. I mean, this knight could even come around to G8, maybe. Who knows to uh, to defend? You might want to stop um, uh, to stop your uh, the video here and just uh, try and guess which move Leela played. Um, it's not the only one, but uh, um, but it is um, an absolutely gorgeous one. Gorgeous one. Gorgeous one. Uh, Leela played the move Queen G5. That is so nice. Uh, I mean, uh, I, I said it, you know, it's one of um, uh, Leela's things in uh, in this sort of chess that seems to find all sorts of unusual ways, you know, to um, um, to um, um, create mates. Because it's, again, quite an unusual little mating pattern, this one. Takes, takes. King G8, Knight F6, check. King G7, Rook H7, checkmate. Or if you'd prefer it another way, king g7, and then we go rook h7 check, king g8, knight f6. You're not just a knight down, you're a queen down as well, but mate ends the game. So black played knight g6, and well, this didn't last very long. Um, I think if you go knight g8, I've just got queen f5, you know, and uh, in we go. <laughs> no problem there at all. So uh, knight g6 uh, played, but now queen h6 check, king g8, h5. And uh, well, all the barriers are coming down. Black curl takes the piece, but after takes, takes, queen takes g6. It was checkmate. Yeah, a bright and breezy game there. Um, obviously some errors from black on the way, but yeah, just, I don't know, impressive how Leela manages to uh, just uh, create life in the positions and, uh, you know, never looking for a draw, you know, uh, no draw by repetition. You can just tell that Leela's, you know, incredibly optimistic and, you know, where there are chances, Leela's going for them. But this move, Queen G5, was uh, was really absolutely gorgeous with a very nice mating pattern there on the uh, on the king side. So there we are, just a, a quick uh, a quick video there. Just uh, saw that move and just wanted to uh, share it with you. There's, uh, yeah, I might do a little compilation video of uh, various mates and uh, tactics uh, that uh, that I saw because they're they're just amazing, really. They're just quite uh, unusual and uh, and beautiful all over the place. So there we are. Hope you're enjoying that. And uh, if you do like it, do give a like, subscribe to the channel, tell your friends, and otherwise keep tuned. Hopefully have a few more of uh, these Leela Nighthods games and lots more Mariotti as well in the next few weeks. Thanks for watching.